What's going on everybody? It's your man with the plan, Shame Man 20 and uh, as you can tell, my voice is hoarse. <laughs> um, I, I guess sometimes Saturday, uh, my sinuses decided they were going to reject themselves and uh, dropped all that fun stuff down into my throat and is now into my chest. So I don't really know if it's just a head cold or if it's uh, allergies. I, I'm leaning more towards allergies, but it very well could be a head cold. I really don't know. At this point, I'm just going to say it's both of them, and uh, that way it knocks out two birds with one stone. And, um, you know, since today I have a little bit more of a voice than I did yesterday, I figured since I needed to post something for you guys, and I'd really been kind of thinking, what can I post for you guys while I have a half of a voice, um, I figured, well, okay, what, what haven't I talked about? And I figured I haven't talked about my exhaust in a while and I've only and I've had it for about three months So I figured I'd let you guys know what I think after 90 days three months, you know, how do I feel about the exhaust? Well to be honest with you as far as uh, from a three month standpoint it has gotten a lot tamer uh, You know because now everything's sort of wore in or broke in uh, that newness has worn off and uh, it has a little bit tamer, not so harsh, I guess is where I'm going with. Not such a harsh tone that it used to have when I first had it on here. And, um, you know, I kind of miss the harshness, but at the same time, uh, I've gotten used to a lot of the sounds. Uh, for example, the V4 mode. Uh, I said in my initial impressions that you will notice it. Um, now I don't really notice it hardly at all, and I, maybe that's just because I've gotten used to it or maybe it's just because it's finally broke in. Maybe it's a lot of those factors. Um, but in my case, with my truck, given these uh, certain circumstances that have presented themselves, uh, the exhaust system, as far as interior sound, is hardly noticeable unless you step on it or unless you're getting off the line or you're you know pulling away from a stop. Uh, that's really the only time you notice it and and most of the time i have the windows down since it's been nice here lately so um in that case that's that's about the only time that it really ever you ever really notice it but i mean that's the kind of thing that you want to notice you want to know that you have an exhaust system and uh, i mean maybe maybe you don't want people to know maybe you still just like a nice tame noise but in my case maybe it's just the fact that i'm 25 i'm young I like that kind of noise factor and um, you know I really like how this exhaust system sounds and and it has tamed out and it, it, it hasn't really bothered me the fact that it has tamed out but the interior noise has certainly gotten a lot better and it's not as annoying or as sort of harsh as it was when I first had it so um, as far as three months uh, from an interior standpoint it has gotten a lot better it's not like I can't listen to music in peace. I definitely do listen to music in peace. Uh, the windows down, you really can't hear anything. But uh, for me, I guess the uh, transition from V8 to V4 mode and it being in V4 mode certainly hasn't bothered me. It's something that I've grown used to. But again, if V4 mode does bother you, you can get a tuner and shut it off or you can have a tuner tune it out for you uh, or you can just do the complete and total active fuel management delete you're gonna to have to get the uh, it's not the valley cover but it's the similar to uh, the active fuel management delete valley cover is what I'm gonna call it anyways because I've done forgotten the name of it uh, K-Tech makes it it's about $400 you get that uh, you'll want to get uh, high-speed injectors and, and honestly I would just opt and get all 16 just that way you have that much uniformity that's just me so now as far as exterior sound um, not much has really changed I mean it has gotten a little bit tamer but it still has a moderate exhaust tone and uh, especially when you're in town like I am now or you go past like walls or you, you know just going past buildings in general anything that's going to reverberate sound um, especially when you're in v4 mode it's going to sound funny you're going to hear it you're going to notice it and especially when the windows are down you're going to be like what in the world is that sound that doesn't sound right that's v4 mode that's what it sounds like it's an odd sensation to hear but that's just how it works other than that i think that's really about the only thing that's really changed those are just been some subtle changes uh the exhaust system has gotten a lot tamer uh, but it certainly doesn't have that 
mild characteristic. It still has that nice uh, sort of moderate aggressive tone. Not con not too aggressive, but just enough to remind you that you have an exhaust system. Like, you know, case in point, you can hear the um, you can hear the truck in V4 mode right now, uh, and you know it's just a weird phenomenon that the truck is trying to put down power in V4 mode. Why I don't know. I could have that tuned out, but. You know it is what it is it's not bothering me right now now as far as overall truck performance uh, have I noticed anything different um, well there's only been two noticeable things and I don't know if they're any way in shape or form related to uh, the fact that I have the exhaust system on here or not but one thing that I have noticed first off is that um, cold starts they used to be sort of loud at first um, and they generally are pretty loud if you let the truck sit for a 24 hour period. Now, as far as overall performance of the truck, um, have I noticed anything different? Well, there's two things that I've picked up on and I'm not entirely sure if, that, if it's related to the exhaust or if maybe it's just my overall driving characteristics. I'm not really sure, but I'm just gonna throw out these two things that I have noticed since I've installed the exhaust system on this truck. Uh, first one is the cold starts. I've noticed the cold starts aren't near as loud. I mean, granted, if you let it sit for 24 hours or longer, it's certainly going to be loud at first, but it does get tame within the first 5 to 10 seconds, whereas it used to be sort of loud for about 10 to 15 seconds. Um, you know, it's rough guess, you know, it, it, but it, it wasn't like it was an annoying thing. I, I certainly loved it. And honestly, I've not heard any complaints from my neighbors, so obviously it must be a good thing. Um, but that is one thing that I've noticed is that the cold starts have gotten somewhat tamer. And, uh, you know, they're at first they're, they are loud, but they're not as harsh afterwards. The second thing that I've noticed is that um, my shifts between first and second gear have softened up a bit. And again, I'm not sure if that's from the exhaust system. I'm going to say probably not. Most likely no. But um, it may be from just driving characteristics or just from general wear. Maybe uh, something in my driving has changed and the transmission has noticed that. And so it's made changes to it. I don't really know for sure. But what I have noticed is that the shift between first and second has sort of softened up a bit depending on uh, what type of acceleration I'm doing. And it's not like it's slipping, because it's not like a really bad hesitation. It's just kind of a, eh, that sounds really weird. <laughs> you gotta laugh at yourself once in a while. But it, that's kind of the thing. It's, it's not, it's a slight hesitation, but it's not like to the point where I would think, oh my God, it's slipping. Um, but it could be that maybe it's, it is getting to that point in time where the uh, trans uh, transmission fluid needs to be uh, changed and the filter changed. Uh, not flushed, mind you, but certainly probably changed. Um, I am going to try and work on getting some money saved up to uh, change the transmission fluid and get the filter changed. Uh, probably do the same thing with the transfer case as well as both the front and rear differentials. And generally that's a bit of a pricey thing to do. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll do some research into it. And uh, if anybody has any suggestions, I mean, granted, I've never changed transmission fluid, so I don't know how to do it. And as much as I would like to do it and try and do some of those things myself, I'm afraid I may mess something up. So with that in mind, I will probably take this to a specialist or you know somebody that has a little bit more knowledge than I do about changing these so maybe taking it back to the dealership and having it done somewhere because I I don't personally feel comfortable doing it so with that said um, granted this is kind of gone completely off the tangent from the exhaust system but like I said this is one thing that I have noticed and it and it, and it comes in and out with time so sometimes it is a soft shift other times it can be a firm shift but it just depends on what kind of acceleration i'm doing uh, whether it's city driving or if it's uh, a hard acceleration uh, sometimes it's soft sometimes it's not it just depends but it is one thing that i have noticed 
So there you go guys, that's my impressions after three months, 90 days of having this Corsa Catback exhaust system. Again, I do apologize that my voice is sort of hoarse and, and that it's you know sort of almost gone. Um, I'm hoping that maybe all this moves out by next week, but uh, anybody that's ever had a head cold or sinus drainage, sinus infection, allergies, whatever it is, you all know the struggle of having to deal with it. And sadly, it's just one of those things for me, uh, I have a struggle with taking pills, so um, there's really not much else out in the market for me. So, um, But with all that said, I think that wraps up this video, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. So anyways, that's what I have to say after three months. It definitely has tamed down a bit, but it has certainly not lost its charm with me. I am happy with the exhaust system. Couldn't be any happier. So with all that said, guys, I think that's where I'm going to end this video. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I think this video at least deserves a thumbs up because I went through all the effort and had enough enthusiasm to make a video for you guys, despite the fact that my voice is sort of gone. So, you know, I think that at least deserves it. You don't have to do it, but it's very much appreciated, guys. Really, you don't know how much it means to me. If this is the first time stopping into the channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. Also, do not forget about that notification bell next to the subscribe button. Hit that so you are always notified of when I post new videos because nobody likes being left out in the dark. I don't like being left out in the dark. It sucks. But with all that said, guys, hopefully you have a fantastic day. Take care. Have a great day.